It's hard to choose the rooms for pure functionality and beauty in the LeBron family house, as it's a cute house that is decorated with precision and a style that would challenge the best of interior decorators. No doubt about it, the house, decorated by Savannah's mother, Deborah Sautis, who lives in the house and frequently babysits for Cole and Savannah, is adorable. Nevertheless, here are our choices for the rooms, from best to worst, or rather, worst to best, in the LeBron house. Welcome back, Virals! I'm Lady Blah Blah, and if you're new to our channel, please remember to put a like, subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you won't miss out on the latest news on your favorite YouTube stars. Number 8. The Hutch The Hutch is a small, tiny room just inside the security gate leading to the stairs. The Hutch is decorated with a simple bench as well as a sort of memorabilia showcase, but the room really shows no particular style or grace. In fact, one wonders if it would not be better positioned as a cloakroom. Number 7. The Downstairs Bathroom The downstairs bathroom is another room that is functional but really has no particular style. In fact, there appears to be no attempt at all to decorate the room. It's just an ordinary restroom. Number 6. The Kids' Playroom Here, many mothers would probably string us up on our heels for saying so but we don't find the kids' playroom particularly inspiring. Yes, it has a giant chalkboard, which Everly at age seven appears to love, but from all appearances, the room is filled with sharp edges, which can be a danger to any of the children. We'd suggest a soft makeover to the playroom, as well as a more colorful room. It seems to be quite drab for a children's playroom. Number five, the dining room. We know what you're thinking. The little table and chairs is the entire dining room? Okay, we get it. The table just separates the living room from the kitchen, but at least buy a more inspiring dining room table. Number four, the outdoor porch. Now we're getting into the rooms that we love, and the outdoor porch area looks perfect as a resting place in the early evenings. And the soft grays between the furniture and the rug just seem to melt into one another. Number 3. The Kitchen The kitchen isn't over-the-top glamorous, but the catchy bright black and white cookie jars make the kitchen really pop. We really love it. Number 2. The Living Room The full couch look of the living room is truly a classic and comfortable look. The massive couch looks truly comfortable and livable. Perhaps the only thing missing might be a room divider that separates the living room from the dining and kitchen area. Number 1. The Master Bedroom This is a room that truly looks comfortable and restful. We love the color combinations, keeping with the soft gray tones, and it looks like a truly awesome room to get a good night's sleep. Therefore, the Master Bedroom is on top of our list. And what is your favorite room in the LeBron's Mansion? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Lady Blah Blah, and as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to put a like, subscribe, and share this video with family and friends.